ورتل القرآن ترتيلا السلام عليكم In this lesson we will be covering مد لازم كلمي مخفف Our learning objectives are Number one To know the four types of مد لازم Number two To be able to define مد لازم كلمي مخفف Number three to know the conditions of mud lazim kalami mukhaffaf. Number four, to be able to identify mud lazim kalami mukhaffaf. And finally, to be able to apply mud lazim kalami mukhaffaf. As we have covered previously, mud fari'i consists of two branches, mud due to a hamza and mud due to a sukun. Mud due to a hamza consists of three types of mud mud sula kubra, mud jaiz munfasil, and mud wajib muttasil. Mud due to a sukun consists of two branches temporary sukun and permanent sukun. Temporary sukun consists of two more mud aridli sukun and mud lean, and the permanent sukun consists of mud lazim. There are two types of mud lazim. Mud lazim kalimi and mud lazim harafi. Mud lazim kalimi consists of two types, mukhaffaf and muthaqal, and the same for harafi. It consists of two types, mukhaffaf and muthaqal. We will be focusing on mud lazim kalimi mukhaffaf. What is the definition of mud lazim kalimi mukhaffaf? Well, it is a compulsory elongation. Lazim means compulsory, kalimi means word, and mukhaffaf means light. So, compulsory light elongation in one word. What are the conditions? Number one, it occurs when a mud letter is presented in one word with a sukun. Number two, the word mukhaffaf refers to the sukun. Number three, we stretch the mud for six counts. Number four, this type only occurs twice in the Quran. And the word is al -ana. So let's look at the example from Surah Yunus, Ayah 51. It says in the Quran, Athumma idha ma waqa'a amantum bih. So we can see the word here, al ana, which is stretched for six counts, and it is mud lazim kalami mukhaffaf due to the sukun after the mud. The second example from the Quran. Again, it's from Surah Al-Yunus, Ayah 91. These are the only two examples in the Quran. And the word is at the beginning of this ayah. Al-Ana wa qad asayta qabalu wa kunta minal mufsideen. So we can see here that we have an example of mud lazim kalami mukhaffaf. We stretched it for six counts and you can see there is a mud which is followed by the sukun. So what have we learned in this lesson? We know the four types of mud lazim. We are able to define mud lazim kalimi mukhaffaf. We know the conditions of mud lazim kalimi mukhaffaf. We are able to identify mud lazim kalimi mukhaffaf. And we are able to apply mud lazim kalami muhaffaf. Hope you have benefited from this lesson. Keep seeking knowledge. Ma'as salama.